Genghis Khan, a name that resonates through the annals of history, is synonymous with conquest and empire. Born as Temujin in the harsh steppes of Mongolia around 1162 CE, he rose from humble beginnings to establish the largest land empire in history. His story is one of resilience, strategic brilliance, and an unyielding drive to unite the Mongolian tribes under a single banner. This video explores the rise of Genghis Khan, a leader who reshaped the world in the 12th and 13th centuries. Early Life and Struggles Temujin, who would later be known as Genghis Khan, was born into a world of tribal politics and nomadic strife. His early years were steeped in the harsh realities of 12th century Mongolian life, a period that played a crucial role in shaping his character and future ambitions. Temujin's childhood took a dramatic turn when his father, Yasugi, a respected tribal chief, was poisoned by rivals. This event was a critical juncture in Temujin's life. The loss of his father meant not only the loss of his protector, but also the loss of his family's status and security within their tribe. Following Yesuge's death, Temujin's family was abandoned by their tribe. In the unforgiving socio-political landscape of the Mongolian steppes, without the protection of a tribe, Temujin, his mother, brothers and half-siblings faced severe hardships. They were left to survive in a harsh environment with limited resources, struggling to find food and shelter. These struggles were formative for Temujin. He learned from an early age the brutal realities of life, the importance of self-reliance, and the skills needed to survive in a hostile environment. It was during this time that he developed a profound understanding of the Mongolian way of life, including hunting, horse riding, and tribal warfare, which would later prove invaluable. Despite the odds stacked against him, Temujin's resilience and determination only grew stronger. He began to garner support and followers, starting with his immediate family and gradually extending to others who recognized his leadership qualities. This period was crucial in developing the skills and attributes that would eventually lead him to unite the Mongolian tribes under his leadership. Despite the early struggles, Temujin's charisma and leadership qualities became evident as he grew. He forged important alliances, initially through marriage to Berti, which helped him gain supporters. His reputation as a formidable warrior and strategist began to grow as he engaged in conflicts with rival tribes, unifying the Mongol tribes. The turning point in Temujin's rise to power was his vision to unite the Mongol tribes. The Mongolian plateau was fragmented, with tribes often in conflict with each other. Temujin sought to change this through a combination of diplomacy, strategic marriages, and, when necessary, ruthless military campaigns. His ability to unite the Mongols was not merely through conquest, but also by incorporating the conquered into his growing empire, offering them a place in his vision. The creation of an empire the year, 1206, marked a turning point in the history of the Mongolian steppes and the wider world. Temujin, having united the fractious Mongol tribes through a combination of military might, strategic alliances, and political savvy, was proclaimed Genghis Khan. This title, meaning universal ruler, was more than symbolic. It signified the birth of one of history's most formidable empires. Under Genghis Khan's leadership, the Mongol Empire embarked on a series of military campaigns that were remarkable for their scale and speed. His first major campaigns were in northern China, where he targeted the Western Xia and Jin dynasties. These campaigns were characterized by the innovative tactics and brutality that would come to define Mongol warfare. Genghis Khan's military strategy was based on speed, flexibility, and a deep understanding of his enemies. He employed a combination of traditional Mongol cavalry tactics, psychological warfare, and advanced siege technology. His army was highly mobile, able to cover vast distances at speed, and known for its ability to strike unexpectedly. As Genghis Khan's empire expanded, 
it encompassed a diverse array of peoples and cultures. To govern this vast territory, he established a meritocratic system and adopted administrative practices from the conquered regions. He was pragmatic in his approach, often employing talented individuals regardless of their ethnic or cultural background. One of the notable aspects of Genghis Khan's rule was his promotion of trade. He revitalized and protected the Silk Road, which linked the East with the West. This not only increased economic activity within his empire, but also facilitated cultural exchanges. The Mongol Empire became a melting pot of different cultures, religions and ideas. The Mongol conquests reshaped the map of Eurasia. Cities were conquered, trade routes were secured, and new connections were established between the East and the West. The Mongol Empire, at its peak, influenced a vast area, stretching from Eastern Europe to the Sea of Japan and from Siberia to the Indian subcontinent. The empire that Genghis Khan built did not end with his death in 1227. His descendants continued to expand and rule over a vast territory. The Mongol Empire was not only the largest contiguous land empire in history, but also a catalyst for change in the regions it touched. It facilitated trade, cultural exchange, and even some degree of political stability across its vast domains. The rise of Genghis Khan is a testament to the transformative power of vision and leadership. From a life of hardship on the Mongolian steppes, he rose to create an empire that spanned continents. His legacy endures not only in the vast territories he conquered, but in the cultural and economic pathways he opened. Genghis Khan remains one of history's most formidable and fascinating figures, a ruler who reshaped the world in the Middle Ages and whose impact is still felt today.